Uh, let me um, let me up. Oh, another PDA. By God, we're gonna have a lot of. Integrating new PDA oh, data. okay, that's it. Oh, let me down, let me down. Was there another bit that we missed, or was that it? I think that was it. This is. There's nothing else here, is there? Yeah, that just leads up to there. Okay, let's get back to the sea moth. <laughs> Struggling with this. Look, oh, and I got poisoned again. At least that poison seems to wear off, so that's that's quite good. Uh, let me just get away from these screaming jelly things. Right, we're okay up here. I better eat something. In fact, I'm gonna have to eat two things. God damn the. Food consumption is horrendous. Right, let's take a listen to two of those things. Uh, it seems sketchy, but the Ely boys are just goofs. Just stay in the sea moth and you'll be all right. They, 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 they sound very scary, Boa. Very scary. Right, so we've got a few things. Let's start with that. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. Oh. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window, and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network uh. access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking uh. notes, testing theories, Shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Go away. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. Crab snakes? What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. <laughs> That's quite a cool little voice log, that. Lithium is extremely important, you found? Yeah, I've got... Uh... I need 18 on my shopping list. Uh, we'll see. Right, so that was the base. Oh, that's the one I've just explored. Okay. I thought it looked a little different, but I guess it was just looking at it from a different angle. That was my capacity. Uh, room for more, and then we've got storage lockers as well. And I can ditch some titanium if need be. Wow. Okay, my, my sea moth is starting to take a right pounding. Let's just um, switch that to three. Uh, where's my repair tool? That to five. Let's go and make sure that this is going to survive the journey back. It's that little thing. That doesn't look quite so scary. Battery? Not quite so interesting. Right, so we'll chuck in the storage. Yeah, go on. I'll just empty the titanium into there. Uh, that's already full. Oh, I think I just got back in time there. That was a bit close. Dave the Sea Wasp. I like Dave. Dave's a good name. I think when we build a Cyclops, we'll call it something like the Sink Master 5000 or something. Something cheesy like that. Probably go and scan those little things, should I? No, we don't need to, okay. I like travelling around with the sea moth because it's like a permanent portable collection of air, which helps a lot. Diamonds. Oh, this is so good, folks. This is exactly what we needed to build stuff. And that water filtration unit, I'm so happy at finding that. So happy at the prospect of potentially, once we get it built, Never having to worry about um, farming salt and stuff again, bleach. 
I may just keep an eye on the depth. I think I'm okay, but it might just be a bit that suddenly gets very deep here. Magnetite. You can put up to four storage compartments on the Seamoth. Yeah, I don't think I need the energy, the solar energy one, to be honest. I could probably manage without that. And just have it one just for mass storage, for transportation of, of goodies. What is this? An Oculus. Can we, can we scan one of these? I'm here. We'll try cooking one. Any more bits? Is that something? There's something. Oh, yes. Yes. Give me that magnetite. This is nice. And there's not much room. We're going to head back soon. I'll have use for the titanium as well, so I won't drop it. But knowing that I can come back here to this deep cave. Uh, for more farming runs. It's going to be good. You'll need one of the flavors of reactor to power the... Will I? They, they take quite a lot of energy. Uh, I'm not that far away from a, a big thermal vent. But of course it depends on the materials needed to actually uh, power it up. It's going to be my last piece. I think so. I'm tempted to actually drop some of that and carry on. Yeah, let's go on. I can get titanium anywhere. We'll carry on. I mean, there's, there's plenty of scrap left around. I, I, I think scrap seems to respawn, because I'm sure I've picked up so much of the damn stuff from around my starting area, and it looks like it's come back. What else can we find around? Is that anything to scan? Nope. Eesh. I don't like them things getting so close. Uh, hey, get off, get off my boat. Leave me alone. Leave Dave alone. Do I take tips? Um, is that Leo Leolian Skinner? Uh, I do if you like, yeah, there's details in the panels down below. Tips, always appreciated, never required. Hi John, how's it going? Sorry if I missed any messages, by the way. Scan the, scan the snake, you come and scan the snake. I'm not getting near that thing. Not unless I'm feeling quite... Quite daring. Might want to recharge this lamp when I get back to base as well. I missed that one. Well, this was worth coming for. I was expecting to have to go all the way back to the, the gun island. This was well worth coming for a look around. All good from the land of the Vikings? Glad to hear it. Inventory full? No. Let's drink um, one of those. And... That might be good once it's uh, fully taken. Okay, let's, let's pick that up. Let's go back. We'll have a scoot around to have a look. I mean, there's big lumps of stuff. Okay, so this, this is definitely a, a location I'm going to want to come back to once I can mine things. It's clearly a good area for farming vital materials. Don't know whether I want to build a base here. We've got... Oh, well... Ah... We can go even deeper. We've got the potential for building a base here. We like thermal... Thermal good stuff. We can have a look around, see if I've missed anything. Ow! What was that? Let's, let's move away from that and have a recover. Uh, Leonia Skinner, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream and the channel. I normally stream uh, Monday and Friday evenings and Wednesday afternoons, and then I occasionally do sort of extra bonus streams through the week and occasional weekends if I have time. But uh, usually three times a week. 
careful around the blood oil area. Where's the blood oil area? Was that that stuff I was... That stuff? Uh, yeah, I've met the Reaper. Uh, we had a good... We had a good few encounters with the Reaper. One where he, he ate one of my sea moths, and then he took another one for a one and a half kilometer ride. Which I did not appreciate. Hang on, that's something new. Is this anything to actually scan? There's just some boxes of stuff. It looks like... It doesn't look like there's anything to scan on there. It does suggest it's a new area. Sorry, I'm just getting used to the new, like, this new Twitch dashboard. It's changed the layout. Uh, I know a lot of streamers have been complaining about it. It's made some stats easier to see and some harder to see. Progress, they call it. Ha. Oh, I'm nowhere near the blood oil area. And the blood oil area leads to the, the ghost leviathan. Oh, okay. That sounds scary. I have no idea what that will look like. Uh, I'm sure I shall have a nice fright when I do eventually meet it. Yeah, and I'm curious. I wonder if it's worth putting a base down in here at some point. What have we got? That's, a, that's another really deep hole over there. Um, was this the way I came in? Nope, nope, that's not the way out. There should be... There should be a beacon? A thermal hole, deep cave. That's the way I came in. Let's listen to some of these things, by the way. I'd almost forgotten. Go with that one. Something incredible. Stop, just a sec. Uh, sorry, Boa, thanks for the follow. Oh, we can play that now. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. <laughs> I think she meant it literally. Really? She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. <laughs> she had a huge gash on her forearm. Marguerite's I huge don't gash. Think things went as smoothly as she made out. What's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals, but father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. It's an idea. Don't know what I... Do I really want a containment unit? Sounds like a lot of work to me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Seamoth that was thrown for 1500 meters is actually the one you see now on screen. Yeah, I did retrieve it. And the third, the third bee wasp, bee wasp, sea wasp. Um, that one was that the one that clips into the sh into the terrain, and is still buried in the sand that I can't get out. I think that's that one. That's a good location down there. Do I want that as a base? It's, I don't think I need to. It's just a it's just a good spot to go farming for stuff. Let's go back and see what we've got. I need to I need to count off against my shopping list. Um, what I've brought back. Not that, that matters too much, actually. The, what, the, the Ghost Leviathan's worse than the Reaper? Yeah, Stalker Teeth. I think I have a few Stalker Teeth stashed in the, in the base. Time to go eat some more melons as well. Oh, down we go. And oh. Welcome 
Welcome aboard, Captain. So far, this thing's powered by, I think, just one solar panel. I think it's just the one. All right, let's get organized. What have I got to drop off? Uh, let's count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine magnetite, which is exactly what I needed. Excellent. I don't have a pen. Crap. Oh, well. Magnetite's done. Diamond. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only needed two, so that's that sorted. And the lithium. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need another 12 lithium and then some bits of lead. Uh, let's get putting this away. Yeah, I need another locker already. My nicely organized base. And it's already full. Let's put the precious stuff. Yeah, actually, this is going to be so full. All ready. I uh, got a spare battery, didn't I? A lot of spare batteries. I'm going to want to upgrade your moth to go deeper. Yeah, I need to... Oh, I might actually have the... I might be able to do that now. Yeah, I've got the vehicle upgrade station. I might even have the blueprints for it too. Uh, we're just going to have to dump all this stuff into here. So much for my perfectly organised base. Let me just check my charge levels of equipment. That needs redoing. Uh, the rest doesn't look too bad. Yeah, let's recharge the lamp. Drag that in and that on there. I don't think I need two batteries all the time. Right, so let's just go eat. Beginning to wish I'd grown these things on land somewhere. So it's easier to get around them. Mind you, it might not make much difference. It's this like the awkwardness of the flower bed trying to get the ones at the back, and because they're up tight against the walls of this place, it's awkward to get around to pick them up. Did you know you can place the ladders off center? These things? I did not know that, no. I have not tried playing around with those. Let's have a coffee. Uh, so, what do I need? I need 12 lithium, 9 lead. Let's see what my blueprints can now produce. The shopping list has just got bigger, of course. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's more stuff in the sea moth yet. Let's get this stuff out. Yeah, I always need more of this. That was intended, obviously. Hmm. Probably didn't need quite so much. Uh, what have we got? Seamoth modules, quite so much titanium in there. So I could do the sonar system. Torpedo arms. Is there a better depth module? I can only build a Mark 1. So, I'm sure I've got like a Mark 2 and stuff. So why can I not do that? Do I need some other station? Where is the Seamoth thing? Here we go. Seamoth Depth Module Mark 2 and 3. So why can't I make that? Does that need the... I don't know what it needs, actually. I thought I would do it at this thing. Oh, it's a vehicle upgrade console? It's not on this, is it? No, because that gives me... That's just for the, for the colours. And that gives me the fabricator. But it's not an option on there. Hmm. Curious. I need the personal modification station for that. Ah, uh, okay. So that's the thing that I still haven't got. And that's the thing that's kind of holding everything up. Where is it? There it is. I still need one last bit of that. So we need to go find some more wrecks somewhere. 
And that really is the thing holding things up at the moment. What was the water filtration machine? That looks like an, a really easy build. Where's the thermal reactor? Because that's that might be what I use to power this. I can do that as well. And the power transmitter. Oh, I can do that as well. Okay, okay, we're we're on, we're on for this. Let's just salt some fish if I can. Well, let's let's cook one first. I want to see what this cooked Oculus is like. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Because the cook stuff goes off so fast, I can't travel around with it. It's it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. We'll get some salt out the fridge. Hi, Frigid. How's it going? So let's make... Um... Did I not... Did I eat the wrong fish then? I thought I picked up two of those. Oh, well, evidently not. Uh, let's make some titanium. Do not take salt out of you. There's plenty of salt here for everyone. Yeah, if I can get that modification station built, I'll be sorted. Let's go in there, drop that off. Kind of filling up. Actually, I've got loads of titanium. Let's transfer that to another one of those. Save me building some more lockers. Uh, okay, so we know where we can get all the stuff we need now. For improving the, the base and the the upgrades. So I guess we get building. I can't remember what all this stuff was for. <laughs> I'm going to do now. Did I get the stuff out of... Oh, did I? I don't think I got the other locker load out, did I? The sea moth. Did I go over the other side? I can't remember. If I was in charge of building a base, I'd have safety rails on the side of this, this plank. Uh, yes, I did. Okay. So. Shall I build some stuff now? Or shall I wait? What should we do? Right, let's, let's go for the water filtration system. Copper wire, aerogel just on the outside. Should I have enough copper in the metals, do I? Yes, I do, and that frees up a bit of space in there. There's copper wire, titanium, and aerogel. Let's go get... What's for an aerogel? Is it advanced materials? Gel sack and a ruby. Okay, so I can't make too many of those. If you were in charge of walking around, you just wouldn't fall in the water. Well, we each do our things differently. I need I need safety rails on my planks. <laughs> it's all the rum that I'm I'm not drinking. As a salty sailor. Uh ruby. Precious. My precious ruby. Okay, so. This is probably going to trigger a need for more power as soon as I do this. Beware you can't uncompress those ingots back into titanium. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm assuming I'll have a use for them somewhere. And titanium itself is relatively easy to find. I've got two, two boxes full of the stuff, so which I think I needed three. So let's see if this was correct. That one. And come on, let's build me a water tool. 
Interior modules. Exterior mo Is it an exterior module? Is it a base thing? Why can I not see it? It's not under miscellaneous. Oh, it's an interior pieces. That's I did not expect that. So let's let's go. I've got this spare room down here. Look. Uh, does it go in here somewhere? It's massive. Oh, I see. It goes out against a wall. So let's put it against that one because I'm not going to have a, a panel coming out of there. Watch this sap all my power. Chunk. Oh. That took my hull integrity down. <laughs> Gotta be careful with that. Right, so how does this work then? Uh, filtration progress, 2% water, 3%. So that just generates water steadily. Okay. I'll just have to remember to come and check that often. Power is holding steady at 75 during the day. Obviously, that's going to, that's going to sap some power at night, isn't it? Sounds like that takes like a long time to actually work as well. Hmm. Okay. It might not be the, the wonderful thing that I thought it was, but it's occasional free water. Uh, what else are we building? Let me take a look through the list of stuff. Do I want to get on with a, a thermal reactor to power this all night? Because I'll have to do not just a thermal reactor... I'll have to do two of these. Oh, well, they're easy enough. Gold and titanium. I can easily do that. And... Yeah, go on then. I'm going to do this. Let's go and get... First off, let's make... Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm trying to work out how to do this best. So I'll make this first, plank it down, then I'll work out the distance I need for these, because I think... I think they have a 200 meter range. I read on, on Tinterweb somewhere. So I'm going to get another aerogel. Two magnetite. Two of those. An aerogel. And was it five titanium? And five titanium. One, two, three, four, five. And a ruby. Place two and you'll have enough water to fill the sea. Um, we'll see what the power situation goes like first. Get my rubies out. Goldie Girl, thanks for the follow. Is it Goldie Girl? Yes, it is. Sorry, I, I nearly misread that then. And welcome to the stream as well. Hey, Gordon, how are you doing tonight? So, I want one of these. Yeah, if I, if I rebuilt the base again, I'd make sure everything Welcome was on the, board, the right Captain. side near the hatch. <laughs> so it was quicker to get at. I don't need to come back in here, do I? This is just to disappear now and go and build. Oh, no, I need to do the area gel. And I maybe better go and plant some more of those, those things. I could just place a second hatch, but that would mean expending valuable resources into um, a second hatch and I'm a very tight Yorkshireman we don't waste resources if we don't have to we would rather grumble about having to do things the hard way than spend extra resources on a fix perfect game to watch tonight Gordon you feel a little bit under the weather oh sorry to sorry to hear that hope uh, hope it's not like a nasty winter cold or anything you've got I'm at minus one integrity. Install one or two. Re Am I flooding? I thought it said it said it. I lost one integrity, but went to four, didn't it? I'm sure it said it just went to four. So I think I was at five before, and I put that C filtration system in, and I think it said minus one base integrity now four. Is that what you saw, or did I did I read that wrong? Help me out here, chat, because I might have. We've had one flood already. Flooding is no big deal. 